Hi, welcome to this week's YC Weekly, brought to you by this cup of coffee. How do you keep me so energized? Enjoying that cup of caffeine, are you? Cup of what? Caffeine. That's what keeps you so energized. What is caffeine? Caffeine is a common chemical found in many of the products we consume every day. Like what? Like that cup of coffee you're drinking, as well as tea, cola, and chocolate. And I'm drinking it? What does it do? Well, a lot of things. And it depends on how much caffeine you consume. Too much can cause caffeine withdrawal. I've never heard of caffeine withdrawal. What's that? It can happen when your body gets accustomed to caffeine. When the caffeine is taken away from your diet, you may experience some symptoms such as irritability, nausea, and headaches. <laughs> oh my goodness, that can't be true. What other horrible things has coffee been doing to my body? Well, Jude, I wouldn't worry so much. Coffee and other caffeinated products, when consumed in moderation, can be beneficial to your health. How so? And how do you know my name? Caffeine makes your brain more alert and can enhance your mood significantly. Drinking coffee can even reduce your risk for oral cancer and give you longevity. That ain't half bad, but now I'm confused. That may be the coffee talking. I just want to know, should I keep drinking coffee in the morning or not? I don't want to get sick, but I don't want to miss out on those health benefits you mentioned either. In the end, it's all up to you. Caffeine is best consumed in moderation. That makes sense. What else can you tell me about caffeine? A majority of energy drinks contain a lot of caffeine, including Red Bull, Monster Energy, Five Hour Energy, as well as a lot of sugar. So how is caffeine different from sugar? Both seem to give me energy. Sugar and caffeine both can induce an energy boost. However, each of their effects are quite different. Coffee by itself has no sugar. That's right. I decide how much sugar goes into my cup of joe. What happens when I do combine sugar and caffeine though? Combining a lot of caffeine with a lot of sugar is not such a great idea. The surge of energy can have some negative effects such as a sugar crash. Now I get it. Like almost everything, caffeine is great in moderation. I just shouldn't have too much or combine it with a lot of sugar. Well, that's it for this week's YC Weekly. Be sure to like our social media pages and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.